What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris. And I'm Lex. And if you guys are brand new here, please make sure you are smashing the subscribe button down below and turning on the bell icon so you're notified every single time we post a brand new video. So for the sake of this video today, we are actually doing a perfume and cologne dupe video. So we are going to the Absolute Dollar Store Plus and Dollarama to try to pick up both some fragrances for men and women and see how they hold up. Intro. It's you, babe. You, babe. Do you like to collect pops? <laughs> if he gets to look at the pops, then I get to look at the cute stuff. Honey, look. It's hedgehogs. I couldn't even tell. <laughs> it's pickle. So we are finished at Indigo now, and by the time you guys see this video, my sister's birthday will have already passed. Wow. And we decided to get her this mug, which says teacher and it lists off four different things that a teacher does for students. And I thought it'd be cute because surprise, surprise, she is a teacher. She is, and she is an amazing teacher too. So it says teacher and noun, and it pretty much gives like a cute little like definition of what a teacher is. So it says number one, classroom hero. Number two, patience and spades. Number three, coffee lover. And number four, architect of futures, which we thought was super cute, so. That's you, sis. Happy, Happy birthday, we, we love you. you. We did look around and I also did find uh, one or two cute little things. So the first thing was actually because you guys at home know that we do have a pet hedgehog. It's this thing called a cutie cup and it's like a grass growing kit. So as it grows, you can like cut and style it. And it's so cute because this one has a little planter underneath with a little hedgehog. So I thought it was so cute. So I, I bought we'll it. Put it beside him next time. Yeah. <laughs> when he's back at your place. Yeah. And then I also got a really nice work folio because I've been looking for something that I could put all of my stuff into, including like all of my notes and um, everything just for like book purposes. And I found this awesome burnt orange portfolio thing. And uh, I picked it up because it was actually on sale. You can't even see, but there's like a little scratch right here and it's barely noticeable. So they marked it on sale. So I picked it up and it has just like the inside and then you can actually take this off and put something else on. You like, can? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. And then there's also like a little, a little um, side pouch in here for you to put stuff into. So a whole folio. A whole folio, <laughs> and it's super cute too. And it's gonna match Is my that room a pen colors. Holder thing in the middle. Um, probably. Yep. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and this, you got a lip. Yeah, I got a lip. <laughs> so there is our Indigo trip. We are now on our way to. A dollar store. A dollar store. You can buy Gucci cologne for a dollar? And I can only imagine if we go in there and find like a perfume or, or a cologne for two dollars, that's better than something that you can get for 75 and lasts two times longer. Could you imagine? I'm imagining. I know. I'm just wondering. We're gonna go find out. Are you ready to get some luxury dollar store cologne? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why Alex didn't want me to come in here, but this is a beautiful place and I'm super excited right now. I'm gonna buy this entire store. Oh look, there's cologne. Clorox. Oh. <laughs> All right guys, so we are now on our way to the second dollar store to pick out our next batch of perfume and cologne. We didn't really get a lot from the last one, so I'm hoping that Dollarama's gonna have a lot Ooh. more for us to choose from. I hope so. I mean, we can only hope that they smell better and they have a better amount of options. Ooh, Dollarama. yes, baby. Check the fit. Thanks. I Looking cute. Better, Show them your fit. Damn, that's a fit. <laughs> that's a lady. <laughs> okay. We are found the aisle. There's so much. Okay. I guess we'll see you guys back at home to try them out. Later.
So, we are now back at home. So the cologne slash body spray that we got from Absolute Dollar, we scrapped that because the moment we got to Dollarama, trash. We saw so many better things, clearly, that yeah. you see in front of you. We got four of each instead to compensate for the one that we're totally scrapping. But there were so many more, guys. I'm not even joking. Like, you could sit there for a good half an hour trying to find Probably the perfume that you think you'll like. The four that I got are called Against the Grain, Black Tie Gentleman, Bold Oak, and I Tokyo. And the ones that I got are called Roar, Victoria's Gold, Eternal Hearts, and Sweetheart Bon Bon. I'm curious to know what Roar is because there is a cat on the box. Yes, I don't know if that's actually the shape of the bottle, but we are going to find it together. So one at a time, we are gonna go through each of these scents, both for Lex and for I, and we are going to give them on a point scale of one to 10, what we feel about the packaging, as well as one out of 10 for how we feel about the scent. We are going to figure out the absolute most best out of the four that we have here that you guys should go and get from Dollarama literally today. I gotta put on my glasses for this, guys. My eyes are very poor. So the scents for Against the Grain, Coconut Anka Bean. What's a bergamot? It looks like a lime. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna <laughs> say lime. These people didn't know how to spell lime. Honestly, it looks like a beehive, <laughs> uh, but it is kind of cool. It looks like water. Let me see. It looks like it's just water. Oh. Damn, dude, what the hell? Does it actually smell good? Wait, 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 let me smell, let me smell. Well, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that smells good. That smells like the Gucci stuff. Yeah, this smells like something straight from Sephora. Oh my God, that's, there's no way that that smells like that. I know, okay, so right off the bat, the packaging, I'll give it a six. Actually, you know what? You're gonna give it a six? I'll give it a seven because they do actually show you what's in it, but also the scent does- Okay, but you being a graphic designer, that, what do you think about that? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying seven because that smells good. the color combo does kind of embody the scent. Yeah. But I like that they include the scents on the side over here. I'm a fan of oranges and browns. I don't really necessarily know if this packaging would stand out to me. I'm gonna give the packaging a six and i'm gonna give that scent like a nine i love yeah, the way that i'm that gonna that give smells. that a nine as well for the smell okay, try yours now okay my turn so i'm gonna start with roar this is what the packaging looks like it's like a little cat see there's the cat that says and roar. there's a bunch of other cats on there yeah i feel like the packaging for the girls on the inside like the actual bottles are gonna look so nice sorry is it a cat? Is it... It's not a cat. Wow, what garbage. <laughs> All right, I'm already giving it, I'm Gotta docking it points. <laughs> Gotta give it back. It's already a four for me on the box. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. Super cute, really bold purple. Um, as for the notes, this actually does not tell us what it is on the bottle, which is kind of sad. Oh, that's potent. I don't know how I feel about that one. Mm-mm. <laughs> fours all around um, fours all around i feel like this would four yeah i mean the packaging is decently well done i feel like it's more no, no, no. towards I... younger girls than adult women so i'm gonna give it like a four i'm giving the packaging a four just uh, because it doesn't tell you anything about that the too. damn product and plus this is really like that's a very stiff cap yeah it's hard to get on and off so fours all around yeah i'll yeah. go with that black tie gentleman i'm excited for this one I think this the one looks like a, look cute. this looks like a ysl kind of box yeah like on the back is there a box inside of a box no no, no. Oh. that's what it looks like on the back and it's very reminiscent of east saint laurent to me oh yeah a little bit well, let's see. so this one has the scent of wood tobacco leaf and vanilla Oh, this is gonna smell. Why is it that men's scents are always so much better than ours? Because we're cheap as. <laughs> oh. it smells pretty sweet. Kind of smells like they put scope mouthwash in here. What? <laughs> what? Show them the bottle. Yeah, here's the bottle, guys. Smell it, smell it. Oh, I'm tasting it. It smells like scope mouthwash. Oh. oh my god. Blech. 
No, oh, I don't like that. All right, that's a four on the oh. scent for me. No, oh, that's a two on the scent for me. I don't oh, like sorry. that at all. Yeah, my bad. I don't like that at all, but the packaging, Two. so sleek, I must say, like, I'm gonna give the packaging a seven, yeah, maybe I'll, even an eight. I'll give the packaging an eight, just because yeah. that's the one reason why I wanted to buy it. Yeah. I'm still seven and three on the actual smell. Okay, I'm eight and two. All right. This one is actually the reason why I wanted to do this video, and that's because I wanted to see what the bottle looked like inside. Whenever I see gold packaging, it just gets me all excited. Oh, I love it already. Look at that. That is so cute. This is the bottle for this one. This is super cute. It almost has like a little bit of a sparkle to it, mm -hmm. but I love the little gold notes. The sticker is cool. Yeah, I like the sticker too. It's a little off center, but like that's fine. That one's much lighter. I don't know if I'd necessarily wear it all the time. I feel like you'd barely Oh, you gotta notice. get close. It smells like yeah. laundry detergent. Yeah, a little bit. The packaging, decent. I'll give it a 10. Oh, really? You like it that much? It's just because it's different. And I'm actually mistaken. This is actually from the Mirage brand, apparently, but it's called Victoria's Gold and it's limited edition. So I'm going to give the packaging a nine um, because I, I like it. It's super clean. I don't know about the full on gold thing, but I think it looks really, really nice. The so, smell six because you have to be so close to smell that. Yeah. I'd say a six too, because it's not like it's bad, but it's not the best. So bold oak, citrus, cypress, and vet vetiver, whatever that is. What is vetiver? Oh, dude. What? I bought three of the same brand. Preferred fragrance, New York. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait, let me see. Oh, yeah. Mirage, Mirage, Mirage. We got preferred. the opposite. We got the opposite. Preferred, 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 and Mirage. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. All right, so the box is kind of cool. I like the color. You can't get much more regular than that, guys. Super simplistic, but I mean, people like that, right? The simplicity? I don't. Not you for don't? a fragrance. Oh. No. Really? It smells like yeah. toothpaste and shampoo. No, there's there's like a musk underneath it, you can tell, but there's something lightening it up where you're getting that scent from. Well, I'm gonna give this box, I'd say a six and the smell a five. I'm gonna give the box a four um, and the smell, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep it at a six. This one I think is super cute and this one actually has notes on it. So this is what it looks like. This is the Eternal Hearts one. And the notes for this one are raspberry, vanilla, and rose. So this is the bottle. Kind of nice, kind of cute. I like the diamond on top. Yeah, I do too. It's not bad. Oh, that is super sweet. Let's, I don't mind it. Let me smell that. I'm not a huge fan of the super sweet ones, but like this one actually isn't that bad. You can really That's smell like the raspberry. Sweet enough. It's yeah. sweet enough. You can really smell the raspberry in this one though. Um, for packaging, I would probably say just because I think it's super cute, I'm gonna give the packaging a uh, nine as well, just because it's something different. And the smell? yeah, the smell, I'll probably say a seven, seven or eight. Hmm. Yeah, I was I'll go with say... a seven. I'd say a nine for the packaging Yeah. as well, but for the smell, I think eight because it's sweet, but it's like not super strong. So you like it? I like it. Yeah. The last one by Mirage, I Tokyo. The box looks very bland. But it is nice though. It's, it's just shiny. It's literally just shiny. It's like the texture of a yeah. holographic Pokemon card put onto a box. <laughs> what, what is in the this? World? Hold on. I oh. What do I do? That's uggo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's my deodorant from <laughs> I mean, the bottle would look fine like this. It's this that throws yeah, it off. Yeah, this looks like Like, deodorant. I don't know why they put that big of a cap on That's it. That's so dumb. That's so weird. This is dumb. <laughs> oh, oh, it just smells like rubbing alcohol. Really? Yeah. I'm... Oh. I Tokyo, mm. more like no Tokyo. No Tokyo for me either. Two. 
No, no, no. Two. No Tokyo for me. No Tokyo. I'm just saying zero and moving on. That's all a zero. Well, the packaging isn't that bad. Never mind. I'll give the scent a zero, but I'll give the packaging like a two. So the next one I'm moving on to that I'm trying to untie here is the Sweetheart Bon Bon Shimmer. Well, at least we know like the preferred is definitely preferred. preferred. <laughs> so this is the bottle. It's super cute. It's gold and white and it's in an ombre. And to be honest with you, out of all of the girls bottles, this is my favorite one. I am giving this a 10. Even the packaging I thought was super cute and I like the way that they had the little bow on the top. I think it would look really nice for gifts too. So um, 10 out of 10 for packaging for me. I agree. Yeah. It smells like cereal. There's vanilla in here for sure. And it's something that I think you'd wear more on like a fancy date night type of deal. It kind of reminds me of sunscreen. Just at the very end. <laughs> oh, yeah, so the packaging for me, definitely 10 out of 10, and the smell, I'll probably give like an eight. Yeah, I agree with that. So based on our findings, these are our top two favorite dollar store dupe fragrances. I ended up going with the Against the Grain, as you already would have assumed, and surprisingly Bold Oak, because the other ones really smell not that great. <laughs> they smell awful. <laughs> One looks like deodorant. I know. <laughs> and then for mine, I ended up going with Eternal Hearts and Victoria's Gold for the top two of my four. I find that the Eternal Hearts one is uh, much easier to kind of take in when it comes to a scent because it does have that more fruity sweetness to it, but it's not overly powerful with the sweetness. And the Victoria's Gold is something more classic that I think you could wear that's just very light and more elegant. So if you guys out there are not looking to pay top dollar for a new fragrance, I would definitely recommend going and trying this out just because of the fact of how cheap it is, number one, as well as how nice they smell compared to some other ones in regular stores that we know we've both tried to smell. Mm -hmm. That is it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much again for tuning in. Be sure to smash that subscribe button if you're not already a part of the fam and make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed our video today. Also make sure to follow all of our socials. They will be linked down below. Otherwise, we love you guys and we will see you in, in the, the next, next video. video.